Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I have actually not sewn that much this month, which is shocking to me because I feel like all I've done is sew. And then when I sat down and thought about like how I was spending my time, I realized that I was sewing, but um, the Royal Wedding Sew Along is not just sewing. I have to, you know, film every step and prepare everything the right way. And so that is what I've been spending most of my time doing here in my sewing studio. Um, so I don't have a ton to show for March, but I know that April is going to be an amazing month. I'll have both of my Royal Wedding Sew Along dresses done, um, in addition to a lot of other fun stuff that I have planned. So I did want to show you, if you're not an avid watcher of the channel and you haven't been keeping up with the Royal Wedding Sew Along, shame on you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you do you. It's fine. But I did want to show you what I've been working on. It's kind of hard to see with this one, but... Um, so this is the bodice for view C and D. Um, it's like a wrap crossover um, pleated little number. And I'm making it out of these really cute linens on a navy background. I'm just obsessed with this fabric and I think that it's looking really, really cute. So this is what I have to show for that version of the dress. Two half bodices. Um, and then for view A and B, of the same pattern and that's new look 6526 um if you're if you don't know um and then the other view is this one that i'm making from this really adorable red poppy on a white background so that one has a really cute v-neck very striking red color um it's going to be really really gorgeous i'm so excited about it um both of these fabrics came from style maker fabrics Actually, so did the next one. Lots of love for Style Maker this month. Um, all of these are brand new. Uh, she just added to her shop as part of her spring collection. Um, so if you like any of them, you could head over there and grab them. Um, the third thing that I made this month, which honestly is one of my favorites. I said in the review video that I did of this that I posted, I don't know, a few days ago that my boyfriend said that it was his one of his top favorites of all time. Um, his, he called it a goat dress, greatest of all time. Um, and I'm, I'm tending to agree. I wore it the whole day that I filmed and the longer I wore it, the more I fell in love with it and just really started to like feel myself in it. You know what I mean? Um, it is hard to see. Um, I'm going to put in some footage from that shoot so you can see it better. But, um, it's just this little, here's the fabric, is basically all you can see. Um, but this is a rayon poplin, and you guys, I am like on the hunt to try and find some more rayon poplin. I love this fabric substrate. I think that I love it even more than rayon chalet. I know. Rayon Shelley is my jam for a long time, but there's something about the combination of how this is lightweight and flowy but still has a little bit of weight to it um, so that it just goes over your body, in my opinion, better. If you're making like a super wide maxi dress that's got like tons of volume on the bottom, Rayon Chalet is still gonna be great. Um, even the one that I made more recently from that gray or that green, um, I don't know, like tie-dye-ish looking one. Um, those are still great, but if you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit closer to the body and you don't want all your like lumps and bumps showing, especially like after you eat lunch or something like that, rayon poplin is what you have to find. And I don't know how well um, online fabric stores are marking this or even, I mean, maybe even at a Joanne, would they even say poplin? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm trying to like really feel it. <laughs> So I can tell when I'm in the store what it is because um, I really, really love rayon poplin. I fell in love with this. Um, okay, and then the fourth and final thing, this is like the shortest makes video in the history of makes videos, is this really cute dress. This is my refashion for this month. So I don't have a before because I'm a bad vlogger um, of what this looked like before, but basically it was a petite dress um that was a little bit too small in this area um 
and it was really long like mid calf length and I don't really dig that style so I needed to like raise the whole thing up and then it fit everywhere. Um, but I just, for some reason, was just thinking like um, pillowcase dress. So that's what I made. It was super simple. It took a couple of hours. Um, and I just put in grow grain ribbon with a cute little bow right here to tie it all together. And I think it looks really cute with sneakers. So that's how I'm planning on styling it. I will um, insert a picture that I took of it for Instagram but it's really cute it's like linen and I just love the bias cut um, fabric um, I didn't do that that was already done literally I just took the side seams of this and just shifted the whole thing up on my body and marked where I wanted the length to be and then that's where I cut for the um, for the I guess the top of the bodice um, and then bias binding, self bias binding on the um, armpits. And then this is just a giant tube where the um, ribbon goes through. Super, super simple. Usually they're for little girls, um, but you could, you know, do it for your size too. It's just a bigger rectangle rather than a little rectangle. Um, so yeah, so that is it. Those are the things that I made in March. Um, I do have a lot of fun plans coming up for April, so um, stay tuned for that. But until then, I will see you all very soon. Bye!